Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start of a new video in which we're playing as everyone's favorite awesome warlord, the Central Najorada, but we'll get there first with the Belarusian mutiny. Michael Vatushkov stood in front of a crowd numbering in the thousands, composed largely of native Belarusians, but also including many German settlers. All ears in attendance were fixated upon the upcoming announcement that Vatushko was soon to make. It had been weeks since the people of Austin had received proper information from the government, which was rather jarring to minds that were so used to the frequent spoon-fed information given to them by the Reich. Vatushko might not be the Fuhrer or the uh, Reich's Commissar, but as far as people were concerned, this was the next best thing. Vatushka stepped in front of a microphone wired into several radio stations across Austin, ready to be broadcasted across in crumbling Reich's Commissariat. His voice boomed, amplified across the plows in which the people gathered. As his voice took through the radio waves, he immediately declared the Reagan administration to be detrimental to Austin. Speaking of the horrors that the people were forced to endure due to the widespread political infighting, Throughout his words, though, he was notably cautious to navigate around the direct criticism of the institutions of the Reich. Regardless of all his caution, what Vatidushka proposed remains still nothing short of treason. He announced with great enthusiasm the establishment of a Central European Council, a governing body under which the native Belarusians would lead and the German settlers would cooperate and be voiced as equals. Despite all his cautious wording, deliberately conservative speech, the crowd erupted into a joyous frenzy. Cheers and chants echoed across the plaza for hours. Could this be true? Would the Belarusian people will finally be free? Zia Belarusi. I'm not sure how to pronounce Belarusian terms and stuff like that, so my apologies if I screw up the uh, <clears throat> pronunciations. But let's just begin with nine divisions. Not bad. That's not bad. Now, are they any strong? That's another question. We shall soon learn, led by uh, this guy, probably. And Field Marshal Francis Kusal. Kusal? Kusal? I'm not really sure. Alright, so these guys are 12 combat width, which is not great. And these partisans are okay. They're also twelve combos, which is, which is okay. Uh, decommission templates. Uh, what is this? Let's see. Partisans. SS deserters. That's not bad. Uh, Division two. That's pretty much the template that we want to use. So go low for that one. Garrisons go high. Reinforcements go high. Honestly, just convert you guys all to this. We're not gonna have enough stuff here, anyways. But that's okay. All right, and do this two, four right there, and nothing there. Just fine. Goes out of this stuff. A whole bunch of national daddyists here, which is fine with us. A little bit of poverty, but that's okay. Anything here? Nope. All right. And the collaborator. We finally had a chance to take Austin for ourselves. We must decide on an approach, and we must choose wisely. There are two ways we can take this safe for the homeland. We can look for our comrades among the freedom fighters, or we can seek the aid of the Germans and the other collaborators. We can only take one out of the two options of these paths. Once you take one, there's no going back for the other. The man of the people. All right, sons of Belarus. That's not bad. That's a lot more manpower. Holy crap. Bob Roberts, huh? Um, oh, whoops. No. Keep going for that one. It's fine. Fight for your homeland. That's not bad. Hearts and minds. That's pretty good. They come for your home. That's pretty good, too. Our independence war, which is pretty decent as well, and Belarus is ours. Reactivate the Black Cats. More war support. Get up. Two elite SS deserters. Ooh. More speed reconnaissance. More attack and recovery rate. One final mission. That's a lot more manpower. Holy crap. So we're Belarusians. Foreign claims. We have... How much do we actually have as a core state? We have a lot as a core state. Especially this area. I'm just looking at that just because... The organization is pretty good overall. The Black Five, if you want to that, please go right ahead. Hearts and Minds. Well, because you get 50% more attack and defense on core territory. Other than that, you get more organization as well. Versus this side, you get... One, two, six... Six divisions on this side. And you get... Six divisions over here. Belarusians, fighters, and partisans. And extra equipment. Equipment, I think, wise, would be better to reactivate the black cats. Hmm. UPO joins war. There's that group, too. There you go. I think I'm going to go with maybe the man of the people. Vatushka wishes to be man who will lead our people to freedom and a great future. And to be that man, we must give him our support. And we must unite. As comrades, no matter. <clears throat> I'll look at that. Um... What land we come from, be it Belarus or the Baltics, let, let us lend our spirits to him. Freedom for all of our people and freedom for our lands. Go their people, great advantages, go their people. Hearts and minds. Um, I want to pop more divisions first, so. Uh, let's go this way first and we'll ju jump to that side. Hearts and minds. More support is coming to our cause and our ranks keep getting stronger. This is wonderful, and to keep things keep us up, we must not let our arms down. No, our struggle must continue, and so shall our efforts to recruit more of our brothers and our sisters from Belarus into the cause. Let no soul cease in their efforts. The more we keep fighting, the more our cause gains ground and spirit. If you remember this one too, please go ahead. A liberal, just another ruse. Oh, that's not good. 
Oh, we're not fighting everybody here yet. Crap. Well, that's certainly not good. Now we're with everybody? Alright. There we go. It looks like we're trapped down there. Or we're not really trapped, there's nothing going on down there. Yeah, it's not looking good for us so far. Oh boy. Oh, and Muscovine is probably exploding like normal. Come on. Um, so we have no electricity. God dang it. Man of the people. Good. Hearts of Minds. Not bad. Arise, sons of Belarus. Great sons and daughters of Belarus, brave souls, all so young, rise from your slumber, take arms. Let us deliver our people to freedom, the great Fatushka seeking your aid. Come forth and join our cause for your homes, for your families, for yourselves. Let us unite Belarus for our liberation. I always hated it doing it like this, um, playing Tino sometimes just because it's just so laggy. Can we just go in? They'll probably encircle us and probably kill us off, but you know. Okay, never mind. No energy? Alright. Gold, let them kill each other. If we have to retreat this way, so be it. We could really use more attack and defense, though. Really, really, really good. I know we would have planes. Yeah, we don't have any planes. That sucks. I mean... This guy's got energy and whatnot. I'll take it, but still. Yeah, it's not looking so good for us now, is it? No, it's not. If anything, it retreat this way. Let him in. That's fine. God, having nothing just sucks so much. Well, we might be doing something here if we encircle them. Can we get this stupid focus done? Come on. Because our capital's kind of exposed. Of course, if things go really poorly for us, then uh, we'll probably have to use some console commands, but whatever. It's, it's like normal. It's like normal. Bro, come on. I don't understand how the enemies can move faster than us when they're crossing the river over here. Give us our god dang divisions. Come on, my god. No, no, don't go. Why would you go that way into the river? You go that way. Come on. Start taking up all the tiles that they took from us. Very weak. Very, 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 very weak. Thank God we got those, that one done. Jesus Christ. And you guys are 12 combo with as well. Let's see. Also, since we're here, so we're oversight, Parsons are fine. Not a lot to lose. Oh, come on. We've been trying to del delete that division for the longest time. That's so stupid. Ugh, I hate this Civil War sometimes, man. I really do hate it. They want it. They can, they can keep it.
You're gonna have all that uh, energy loss. That's what you really, really want. What was that radar station? I like the radar station. Radar stations are nice. All right, so then fight for your homeland. The Germans we seek to crush us all in one step, and we must stop them from doing so. Come up and meet the challenge, brave men of Belarus, oh brave men of the Baltics. Rise up uh, with your weapons and keep the German menace from stamping us out. Fight for your homelands, fight for them uh, with every breath and every swat of your life. They come for your homes. The monstrous Germans cannot and will not stop with our destruction. No, once they are done, with us they will rule over our homes and kill our families. We will not permit this, and we will never stop fighting the German unit until they give up their sadistic desires. Let's encounter people. I encourage people to fight as partisans. Let us reveal ourselves and start bringing this fight to the bloody fascists onward. And then our independence war. Our cause is just, our time has come. And our dream of freeing ourselves from the press of Jack of the Germans and their spinal supporters among our people should be fulfilled. Let us show to them to, and to the rest of the world that we will strike them down from all of our homeland free once again. We fought them before us so and so have our forefathers. Down with the oppressors, down with the fascists, down with the Germans. And there we have it, everybody. Totally didn't use any comms commands to make sure that we could win here, which was ridiculously difficult, but we did do Belarus as ours. Our homelands are free, free at last. From the shores of Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia, down to the forests of Belarus, there's no more tyranny, no more oppression, no more fear. F freedom is once again in our hands. And our fates are no longer tied to the Germans. Our peoples have gone back to what was once theirs, but what now? What shall we do? And also, we didn't get any sort of events talking about, uh, um, in the end, like, the deaths of other people. But yeah, I don't know. This, I thought that these guys were strong. Trying to fight them before was pretty difficult. But sometimes we went this, this this way. Also, we were struggling because we didn't even get this as our land. This is very difficult, and I don't recommend this at all. Now, the Black Cats might be a little bit easier. It looks like you do get quite a bit more equipment. You get more divisions. You get the same amount of divisions. But quite a bit more equipment, which is probably the easier way to do stuff, but I can't tell you that for sure. Manpower was never an issue, but, you know, it is what it is. But Vatushka wins in Austin. Mr. Mawson, as a Belarusian collaborator, Michael of Vatushka has climbed down in the last few remaining regions resisting his rule. News about Vatushka's plans, goals, and even hopes are scant. There does not seem to be any from any true secrecy or from a lack of people or means to speak of it. The simple matter is that nobody even knows what Tushka wants. The ports have already spread smaller conflicts firing up across the colonies. Numerous cultural groups have risen against a new dictator. The reasoning for this resistance is unclear. But those members of his faction who have pur purged from his government and escaped have claimed that Vatushka's numerous promises to liberate the colony were an idle lie, and that Vatushka has a little interest in allowing any out of his grasp. A tempo of the broken crown. Is that not it? Usually that that there's uh, the whole thank you for playing for TNO, we'll keep working on this stuff. But yeah, I mean this is not I won't say this is super super balanced yet, but I'm interested in seeing what the devs are doing and I'm if I've insulted the devs before, because I have definitely insulted the, the devs before, I do apologize, but like I'm very interested in seeing what the devs have up their sleeves, especially for Austin, because I love TNO probably way too much. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.